Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today we're starting a series of videos dedicated to an open source system called Cachette, which recently in 2024 adopted Filament Dashboard as one of their pull requests. The project itself, the open source project Cachette, is very old. If you take a look at the first commits of Cachette original repository, you can see six years ago, eight years ago, if we scroll down even nine years ago. But Filament was added only this year by James Brooks here and in this series of videos I will analyze different tips, tricks and filament functions used in this dashboard. So I've installed it locally, I've been experimenting with it, playing around and what I see, what interesting parts I see, I will shoot YouTube videos about them. So let's start with a quick simple one. In incident templates resource you can add new incident template and I'm not actually sure what to fill in here but the template text box has a documentation link here so in filament terms this is a hint but did you know you can add a link here to some kind of documentation or any help in the code of this incident template resource in the form we can see text area template and this hint which may have two options and we will get to that but first what i want to emphasize is that it returns new html string blade render and that blade render uses x filament link component so this is how you can add a filament link to whatever you want and also two options that i mentioned here in the same form this link depends on the engine that you choose below so you can choose laravel blade here and then this text and this link changes so this is achieved with two things first live on the select of engine and in the options it uses enums and i will shoot a separate video on that because it requires extra attention the enums are used all over the place in this project but then what happens here live refreshes the form and then hint of text area is dynamic based on get engine which is the value of this select if the value is twig then we return this link Otherwise, in case of blade, it's another link with another text. So yeah, kind of a two-in-one tip in this video. First, return link as an HTML string in the hint, and then also make it dynamic with help of live and match statement here. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you want more videos upcoming about Cachette and other dashboard functionality, subscribe to the channel. See you guys in other videos.